Well, 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 folks. Hasbin Hotel is finally here! All the years of anticipation finally pay off and, oh, I'm simply quivering with excitement. The spectacle, the story, the eye candy, if you're here for that. So, I think that's enough of this bit. Let's get on with the reaction. And yes, to do this voice, I have been pressing this microphone directly into my mouth. <laughs> it's enough of that. Thank y'all so much for indulging me with that here for a second. But uh, yeah, Hasbin Hotel is finally here. I'm so, so excited to watch this. It's been, it's been years. Uh, I watched the pilot, I think back in early 2022. So it's been about two years for me. I know it's been three and a half to four, I think for some people. So, uh, hey, I haven't been waiting as long as most, but uh, you know, I've still been there with you for a little bit. Uh, and it's, it feels really weird to start this because this is technically a new series, but it's the first time I'm starting something new that I already have like a pre-installed viewer base for a little bit with the Hell of a Boss stuff. So if you're coming here from the Hell of a Boss stuff, hi, welcome back, good to see you. And if you're new here, hi, my name's Tallman and I like reacting to animation stuff. Uh, I have all of Hell of a Boss on my channel, a bunch of other stuff too, so uh, hey, the best thing you can do for me if you're new here is, in addition to uh, leaving a like on the video and subscribing to the channel, is just clicking over to my channel, checking out my playlist, and see if there's anything else I've done that interests you. Uh, but Hasbin Hotel! I'm so, so excited for this, like I said, and I'm gonna do something here that I, I haven't done since I started up Owl House uh, last year. I have a set of predictions, five predictions to be exact. We're gonna play a little Hasbin Hotel Bingo. Not a true, proper bingo card, but just five predictions. I'm gonna see uh, uh, how close I can get to getting all five of them correct. Uh, people seem to love this on the Owl House one, and this is the first series I've started up since then that I feel, you know, somewhat qualified to make any kind of predictions for. So uh, here's what I have written down. Here's what we're going to be looking for here, folks. <clears throat> uh, first of all, I think an easy enough one, any hell of a boss reference. Uh, I'll take, you know, an IMP billboard, uh, something as simple as just Lucifer mentioning Lulu Land or Lulu World. Uh, I don't know how much of that is, you know, going to carry over in here, but we do get Lucifer in this series I'm really excited for. Uh, which leads me to uh, another one of my predictions is that Lucifer himself, the big man, the, the little man from some of the pictures I've seen, uh, he might be a bit of a short king, huh? But uh, uh, that he's going to have the biggest banger of a song throughout the whole series, that no matter how insanely good some of the other songs are, it's going to be Lucifer's that's going to like rise up for me. Uh, and just given the the voice actor that they have for him, dude can sing, so I'm, I'm super excited for that. Uh, Sinner flashbacks I'm going to be looking for. I just think with a series like this that uh, is involved so heavily with some of the Sinners and Redemption kind of stuff, I think it just makes sense from a storytelling standpoint to have some of their struggles in the current series relate to uh, not necessarily even them in hell before the hotel, but just while they were alive. Uh, so that's something that I would hope would be in here and it's something I'm going to be looking for here. Um, another Lucifer kind of thing, either him or Lilith is going to make like a top three worst parent list uh, compared to we've seen some really awful parents in Hell of a Boss, but I think that um, maybe not Lucifer. I don't know. I, I, it's, it's weird. I'm recording this the night the show actually comes out, uh, and I know people have had access to the first couple episodes for the past two weeks. I've avoided everything I can. Um, but I just have a feeling that either Lucifer or Lilith is just going to be completely awful. Uh, maybe more so Lilith than Lucifer, but uh, hey, we'll see. Uh, and then my fifth prediction, which might be the most controversial of all, is that in a moment of weakness, Alistair will frown. Uh, I know I've seen Viv tweet at some point uh, that somebody made fan art of Alistair kind of giving a bit of a kind of face, and she called it a cardinal sin or something like that. But part of me thinks that, like, you know, a character that puts up the facade like Alistair does so much... Uh, there'd be a really room for a powerful moment where he lets his guard down and just kind of like, uh, you know, puts puts down the smile as well, kind of lets his guard down. Uh, and then sort of a free space, if you will, uh, just with, with Keith, Keith David as Husk. If he just says the line, welcome to hell, motherfucker, I'll be very happy. We'll consider that a little, little bonus thing, not necessarily a part of Bingo. So those are the five things we're going to be looking for. We got eight episodes here. I know there's going to be a season two, but I kind of you know, factor that all in to kind of be in this drop of episodes. Uh, so just a couple things before we begin. Uh, in the pilot, my favorite characters were Alistair at number one and then Vaggy at number two. So I'm really curious to see if those are going to change up at all. This is a super long intro, folks. I'm so sorry for this, but uh, uh, I just have a lot of thoughts I want to get out before like this show that I pretty much 
when I started up doing reactions, I knew I wanted to get here eventually, and here we are. So it feels like this is what I started doing reactions for. So I'm just, I'm just super, super stoked for this. Um, but yeah, so Alistair and Vaggy were my two favorites, and uh, I'm, you know, my mind is open to be uh, to have someone replace them. Uh, I know there's a lot of characters that weren't in the pilot that we're going to be seeing in this series, uh, but uh, uh, be interested to see if my uh, sort of uh, little favorites change as the as the series goes on. Uh, other than that, I've been familiarizing myself with some of the voice actors a little bit. I listened to some of the Encanto soundtrack for Stephanie Beatrice, I think. I listened to some of the Mean Girls soundtrack for uh, Erica... Oh my gosh. Uh, he Henningsen, I think? Oh my gosh, I'm so, so, so sorry. Uh, followed Amir Talai on Twitter. He is a delight. Uh, Keith David, I don't need to, to familiarize myself with, uh, but... Uh, uh, and Kimiko Glenn, I know a little bit as well. So I'm I'm super excited to hear all these voices. It's gonna maybe take a little bit of getting used to, to from the new voices because all we've had is the pilot for so long. But I have absolute faith that all these all these actors are gonna absolutely kill it. Other than that, I don't think I have too much else uh, to say. So I'm gonna scooch over here into position and uh, get ready to start this thing. Uh, I also have not seen any of the teaser stuff. I've watched the trailer and I listened to Happy Day in Hell one time after it came out, but I have not listened to Poison and I had, did not watch the little first two minutes snippet. I'm trying to go in as blind as possible. So I guess just a little word of, of precaution. Uh, you will be farther ahead than me. Uh, I am uh, going to take a leisurely pace at these. So be very, very careful with what you post in the comments, uh, but please do leave comments here. I'd love to know what you have to say about uh, this uh, reaction, this episode, anything you want to tell me, just, you know, please be careful of spoilers. And if you're coming here from Hell of a Boss and you've seen the I Made My Wife Listen to Hell of a Boss music, I'm going to be doing that with this season as well. So if there's a particular song in an episode that you think is phenomenal, fantastic, a banger, if you will, uh, let me know in the comments if, if uh, I hit one of your favorites uh, so I can kind of start seeing generally what the community thinks uh, for that so I can uh, kind of curate the best pool possible to have her listen to. Uh, other than that, uh, this, since this is a series on uh, Amazon Prime and not on YouTube, I'm going to have to edit it up, uh, and unfortunately, I don't know how strict they're going to be on the music. I love to keep in as much as I can in these reactions, but uh, there's going to be some cut in here, so I'm so, so sorry for that. Uh, the music is the thing I'm maybe the most excited for here, so I'm going to get in as much as I can, but uh, sorry in advance if, if I have to cut a lot of it out. But... Uh, there is an option for you to see uncut reactions over at my Patreon. I have a $6 tier over there that will get you access to early uncut reactions. It's pretty much as soon as I watch them, next day I put them up. As well as a $3 tier, uh, as well as channel memberships over here, if you just want the, the YouTube edits early. Uh, so if either of those sound appealing to you, uh, there should be a link in the description for the Patreon, or click the Join button here. Uh, also, in addition to that, there's a, a link in the description to my uh, Discord server and my Twitch page. Uh, if you wouldn't mind, uh, if you want to talk about Hell of a Boss or you want to talk. I'm so used to doing videos for Hell of a Boss. It's weird to be doing has been. I mean, hey, look, I, I dress sort of for the occasion. I don't have a I don't have a has been shirt yet, but uh, maybe soon. Uh, but yeah, if you want to talk uh, has been or hell of a, uh, we have a dedicated channel for that over in the Discord. Uh, go follow me on Twitch. I'm trying to uh, meet a follower goal uh, over there. So if you uh, hey, if you like video game stuff, if you have a Twitch account, just go over and follow me over there. Okay, uh, this was a very very long intro, and I apologize. Uh, shout outs to you if you didn't just skip ahead <laughs> to the episode starting. But uh, let's finally do it, folks. Uh, I'm drinking some peppermint tea. Since I always like to call this out, uh, what are you drinking while you watch this reaction? Okay, now I'm ready. Now that I've talked about the tea, I'm ready to go. Uh, so let's get it, gang. Uh, episode one of Hasman Hotel, Overture. Great musical title here. Starting up in three, two, one, go. Oh gosh, I'm so excited. Just seeing an Amazon series, I'm already like cheesing a little bit. Ooh, Once we... upon a time, there was a glowing city protected Ooh. by golden gates, known as heaven. It was ruled by beings of pure light, angels that worshipped good. And oh, they are biblically the accurate evil. a little bit. Uh, sorry, I, I need to, I need to pause already. Uh, just from the, uh, um, we see. I was wondering if we were going to get like biblically accurate angels, kind of, and we already got that. These are the. 
I forget if these are the thrones or whatever, but basically the big wheels with eyes and like six wings and all that kind of stuff. I love that we're seeing some of these like almost biblically accurate designs. Nice. Uh, I did note earlier, I think in the trailer reaction that some of the some of the angels that we see uh, uh, that are going to be actual characters in this look kind of like imps uh, from Hell of a Boss. And that's just because in Judeo-Christian uh, demonology, uh, demons are just fallen angels. So it makes sense for them to look kind of similar. So I, I'm sorry I'm pausing already less than a minute in, but I just had to had to gush about a little of this so far. I hope they get even more horrifying. I really do. Lucifer was one of these angels. He was a dreamer with fantastical ideas for all of creation. I like how he's he almost seen as a troublemaker by the elders of heaven. I like how he's well, almost being portrayed as the main character here in this little story the of their world. So he watched as the angels began to expand the universe in their ways. They created Adam and Lilith, equals as the first of mankind. But despite this, Interesting. Adam demanded control. She fled the garden. Drawn in by her fierce independence, Lucifer found her and the two rebellious dreamers fell Okay, so that's Lilith's origin Together, story. I, they wished the humanity I was unsure if that was... ...knowledge to Adam's new bride, Eve, who gladly accepted... I mean, I've uh, came with a curse. Or with this I've, I've spent enough time in church to know that that's. Finally found its way into Earth. I don't and see, and I don't know what the. Darkness and sin, and the order heaven had worked to maintain. All I know is what's in the Book of Genesis. I don't know anything about like demonology, history heaven kind of stuff. Lucifer and his love into the dark pit, ashamed. Lucifer I do like this storybook dream, kind of presentation thrived, here, though. Empowering demonkind with her voice and okay, her songs, interesting. And as the numbers of hell grew, so did its power. That every year they would send down an army. Okay, so this is this is why to then. Okay. Hell and its sinners could never rise against them. Gotcha. But Lilith's hope remained. And her dream Lilith is playing a seeming to, to play a lot much larger part than a. Uh, of hell. Than I expected in this already, at least. Don't worry, Mom. I'll make you proud. Charlie? <gasps> oh, shit. Did you hear all that? Uh, yeah. I was right there. Hey, they went a whole... They went a whole almost three happens. minutes before a swear word happened. The story helps. I thought this show was written by Vivzy Pop. No, don't worry. You hear from your mom yet? Okay, so that's... How long has it been now? Not that long. Only... Ooh. Seven years. Oh, wow, that's important. a lot. I'm sure. I really hope we actually Something get to see about. Lilith in this well, season. At least you aren't. All right, come on. Alistair says he has something to show us. Is this going to be the little trailer he made that was in the, the trailer that was in the trailer? Ooh, how close are we to the... Oh, this is from the trailer. Okay. I do. It feels weird because, like, as much as I avoid it, I'm like, I've seen this already. Five days ago. I can't wait to hear Brandon Rogers as a uh, Katie Killjoy. <laughs> Custom rooms. It was just a bathroom. Okay, this is at least extended. What do you think? Okay, so I'm at sorry, least there was little the bits I haven't seen that? in that. Uh, yeah, one note. Thank you so much for making this seriously amazing. But do I hear um, a little? Maybe the tone. Little kind of teases of his theme from uh, uh from the pilot a little bit. This makes it look um like a fucking joke. Bad. The word you're looking for is bad. Funny. I was going that works too. Hilarious. It was so funny. There was a toilet in it. I can't just turn on the Alistair voice because I don't have the cheap headset mic. Yeah, just gonna have to settle for 1940s voice. And everyone remembers me from my radio show, uh, the proper medium to express oneself. But everyone remembers me from the pilot. Noisy. So I had a little fun with it. Oh, fun! You had a little. What fun kind of editing well, software do you think he uses? To represent us. When you showed up here a week ago, you told us you would help run this hotel. Instead, you're mocking us. No place he made a TV ad. ad. That's helping. He thinks is a waste of time. What? If and you Angel Dust gets the sexy saxophone I theme. Take better advantage of the talented celebrity you have right here. Angel, you're a porn star. 
a famous talented person. celebrity baby have oh, please, baby he's asking His for it body was made to be exploited. also the animation looks the so arms. good i got the stamina i got the legs i got the lung capacity <laughs> oh i got the legs the gag reflex His legs oh, kind of do go all the way up don't they that thought. Ooh. i'll be right back Ooh, did I we get to hear him night, baby or is she gonna take this call off screen hello dad Hey, oh fuck! Hey, we don't get to hear it. Damn it! I want to hear it. There, so pull them. Why can't he just make people stay here? Oh, trust me, I can. Why do you think I'm here? Oh. You actually think I'd be cleaning bottles and listening to you fucks bitch and moan all the time? Hi, Keith Forrest David. I like being forced. Keep that to you. Hi, Kimiko Glenn. What? You don't like I love the voice cast so much. Whiskers. Call me Whiskers again and I'll jam that bottle down your throat. Kinky. How hard do y'all ship Husker Dust, dirty. by the way? And I think it's all stupid. <laughs> We're in hell, toots. That's kind of the end of the road, ain't it? Well, maybe it doesn't have to be. Just because nobody has made it out before doesn't mean it's not possible. Whatever Just got a couple thousand years of uh, history Brand running against you. Yeah, I'll head over there right away. Okay. Huh. Yes. yes. I really want to hear his voice. I wonder how many episodes he's actually going to be in. Because I'm pretty sure he's just kind of a featured going on? voice. My dad just called. He said that the leader of the Angel Army wants to meet. He asked if I could go instead. But... Oh. But the extermination just happened. <sighs> what could they want this soon after... I can do this. Oh, Somehow here we go. Straight I into the song. It. This is the one that I've heard, right? Behind my plan. Change their mind. That's another thing that I wanted to say is that one of the big differences between... One of the big differences between Helva and Hasbin is the... This series is supposed to have a lot more non-diegetic music. Except this seems to be very diegetic right here. Was that also Keith David? Okay, so this is a little more extended, at least from what I remember. I love in musicals when like two characters are singing lines like kind of over each other. It makes me so happy. A little change up here. I do know that they uploaded the song to. I couldn't. I can kind of read music, but not super well. I wonder if the music that was going along on the top of the screen actually was the melody of the song. I do like that Charlie swears. I know she did a couple times in the uh, in the pilot, but I'm really glad that she does. Hello? It's wild to me that they have an embassy here. Oh, okay. Also creepy. That did say have an embassy, right? Is it just going to be a big elevator that goes up? Holy shit. <laughs> Hi. It's nice to meet you. Totally. Nice to meet you too. Oh, okay. I fucking got you. Did you fucking see that? Good shit. Uh, so wait. You aren't here? No. You think I Why would Yeah, there? I was going to say why would he I mean, be there? I love the vibe. Totally. I love your tunes. Pretty fucking hardcore, don't get me wrong, but it's I love your tunes. Bummer, man. Especially the one you just sang. So how about we get to know each other a little? Mm, how about some lunch? You hungry? Also, that guy, I that guy's you. voice does not match what I was like favorite. expecting. You'll love it. I guess personality-wise, it does, but. <laughs> I got you again, bitch. <laughs> so Charlie's dealing with something very important. So while she's gone, we are making a new commercial. Action. Welcome to the Has Been Hotel. Can I help you with anything? <laughs> I love bad how bad boy. it sounds. And I need a big, strong daddy to put me in my place. On the path to redemption. <sighs> well, you come. Oh, <laughs> yes. yes, he will. To the right place. Cut. 
Okay, Angel, I need you to be less horny if possible. And Hus, can you maybe not? No, have can do. In front of your face. I ain't no actor. I can't memorize this shit. The, okay, all right, hold on. I need to. I because this is like the second series with Keith David I've watched in the last couple of years. This and Amphibia, where they've made Keith David say either I'm no actor or I'm a bad actor. Because in one of the finale episodes of Amphibia, he had to say something. I'd say you did a good job, but I'm not that good of an actor. It's like you don't sell yourself short Keith David and now him saying I'm no actor here it's like my poor boy I hope he doesn't have a complex after all these um yeah this is fun overall though just I just want to say real quick that this is at least overall like it's not consistently riotously funny I mean it feels I guess it's it's hard to say because with hell of a boss I feel like they try to go for a lot more snappy humor like all the time whereas this feels almost more like a drama with funny elements in it if that makes sense uh like i don't know if i've actually like laughed at anything so far i'm certainly enjoying it i love all the characters and the i mean yeah a couple things uh, angel man angel always makes me laugh but uh like it's i don't want to say it's not as funny as i expected it to be but it's also not as funny as i expected it to be so far we're only halfway done with the episode so We'll see as we move on. I was playing this gig, and for some fucking reason, this virtue chick was digging on the drummer, and it's like virtue, you know another kind of angel. I am? I'm fucking Adam. I'm the original dick. All dicks descend from. Okay, me. so that is you actually dick? No Adam. Way. I'm the dick he became an angel. Master. Like the first man, Adam. That means. Yeah, I'm surprised too, right? Oh. oh. Explain so much. Oh. I know. I fucking rock. Well, Adam, Lilith. Sir, Mr. That makes Adam, sense sir. now. Call me Dick Master. Adam, you seem like a smart, well, stand up guy. <laughs> uh -huh. Definitely and not smart. I know you solution to our biggest problem. Oh, herpes. Yeah, that's a bitch. <laughs> no, our other biggest problem. Syphilis? Global warming? Now, wait, that's Earth's problem. Uh... Damn. Got us. Nifty. Your line is we have the clean. This also room. sounds. Okay. Got it. I'm For... ready. Action. <laughs> oh, no. Oh no! Cut. <laughs> and then she immediately, yep, she immediately well, goes back to. You actually have to say the line, so let's roll again. Okay. Action. Poor girl, <laughs> she's she's trying her best. Just her best isn't very good. Uh, How is she editing this? Uh, is she like, doing in-camera editing? Uh, that sucks. Oh, I step in there. Well, why are you even here? Oh, good job. And here is hey, Vaggy, if, if you need someone to do some... Shit, then. Ooh. Uh, uh, I wouldn't try that, my dear. Interesting. This face was made for radio. Okay. That's it, because it won't be so entertaining to watch over an empty hotel, will it? Shit? But yeah, I, I don't know if I finished the thought, but I really Fair like enough. that they uh, tell you what. keep some of the, the sound design deal. things where, with the sound effects yeah, while they're talking and doing thing things. Not it's yourself, not as in your face as the pilot, but I do deal. like that they I still have it in there. You. And you never ask me to engage with this frivolous television technology ever again. Deal. Or Charlie can come back to absolutely nothing. Your choice. <laughs> to just a screensaver of Nifty going. Oh, fine. That's technically a deal made with Alistair, isn't it? Now then. When you take her out for the fifth time and she still expects you to pay the check, but you're like, hey. God, Adam is sucks so bad. No, our shared problem of overpopulation in hell. Oh. <laughs> That's not a problem. We got that covered. Loot, how many demons did you kill this year? Got a good 275 this year, sir. 275? Whoa! Was that 275 yeah. or awesome two and three Jenkins. quarters? Found it. They had their chance and they earned damnation. You're I wrong. love her Sinners stitch effect mistakes, on her mouth. Sure, but everyone makes mistakes. Angels don't make mistakes. You really mm. think that? I you know sure about that? that? Yeah, I've never made a mistake in my fucking life. The only Except Lilith? I've got a lot to get through and not a lot of time, and I feel like you weren't hearing me before, so here goes. <clears throat> I know Hell's population is Ooh, out of second control. Song. It's a bad situation. It's taking a toll. If they join you in heaven, that trip disappears. You can wave at your farewell. <gasps> It'll be a <laughs> Let me stop you right there. Oh. Save us all precious Ooh, time. Ooh, we get him to sing, too. suggesting is letting them climb. Well, uh, Sorry, sweetie. I know, isn't his instrument of choice supposed to be a guitar, right? Ooh. 
So here's what I was talking about with the non-diegetic music. Oh yeah, isn't this? Hold on. Amazon will tell me. Yeah, that's Alex Brightman, okay. It wasn't until he hit a higher note, I was like, he sounds like Fizzarali. He's also left-handed. Just like Moxie. Most of the time. Wow. Oh, no. Well, that went so much worse. How did it go? Did they listen? Oh, uh, they sure did. Mm. Here it. But, um... Oh, God. I hate when it's characters lie about shit like this. Alistair pulled some strings and it's about to air. I pulled a few limbs, too. <laughs> like, Wait, you, great. get over here! You... That's amazing. Aw. Shh, it's starting. <laughs> Welcome to the Hasbin Hotel. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. oh. <laughs> Breaking news in hell today. We have just received word from the Heaven Embassy that the next extermination is happening sooner than ever before. It means we're all royally fucked. Who's voicing Tom? <laughs> Wait, what? That was somehow a restrained wow. performance from uh, Brandon Rogers. What is that? Oh, is we that a? We found the body, sir. They've never managed to kill one of us before. Ooh. Can't risk them catching on. But don't worry. When we come back, there won't be a demon left alive to pull a stunt like this again. Interesting. Okay. Okay. So that. That's an interesting little twist at the end. Okay, okay. So that was episode one. Uh, lots of characters we didn't get in this one. I mean, it was it was very Charlie centric and uh, and Vaggy, which I'm I'm happy that they like. We kind of focused on the two main girls, right? Uh, yes, like Alistair and Angel and Husk were all there and everything, but it was really it was Vaggy trying to do her thing. Uh, she did make that deal with uh, Alistair, uh, so I guess she can't ask for any more favors for him for any of this, this television nonsense. But that's interesting, uh, given that in Hell of a Boss, we get so much of, uh, or not so much of, but one of the, the running plot lines with Stolas is uh, his wife trying to kill him, and sort of the whole, what kinds, of, it's, an, it's only angelic weapons that can... Uh, uh, that can hurt slash kill demon royalty that we know of so far. Uh, that can at least really get the job done, right? Because Striker was able to do damage to Stolas, uh, but it really seems to be the angelic weapons that are gonna do the trick. So, with them trying, with them finding a way to kill an angel. I'm wondering how that can be done, and that's what I think is the most interesting thing to me here. Uh, it took me way too long to kind of realize, and even though I reviewed the cast list, it took me way too long to realize that it was um, uh, that it was Alex Brightman as Adam. Uh, wow, very unlikable character. Uh, great voice while singing. Uh, like I said, it wasn't until he hit one of the higher notes, I was like, wait, that sounds like Fizzarali with a little less grit. And then sure enough, yes, uh, it, it is. So it's it's really interesting to hear him not as a character where he talks like this all the time, right? Uh, 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 but man, just like the douchiest voice, man. Uh, and just, I mean, hey, like I said, if you've been a, if you've been around as long as Adam has, then... Uh, yeah, you, I mean, you kind of just do whatever you want because you're like, you know what? I'm old. Fuck all this, right? Um, uh, but loot, quite a contrast to Adam, right? Uh, just, like, spoke maybe two lines and was able to, like, just, like, just really get under Charlie's skin, right? Get under my skin, too, just with how pointed, how pointed they were, right? Um, yeah, uh, just some characters we didn't really get to see. We didn't really see, we didn't see any of Serpentius, who was, like, I guess, like, the one real character from the pilot that we just didn't follow up with it all we got a little bit of everybody else everybody at the hotel um and i know that we're g i see in the thumbnail here for episode two we're gonna get a uh, uh valentino i think uh i don't know what some of the overlord names that we're gonna get vox valentino and velvet i think uh in addition i saw a bunch of other characters that had you know i, I don't know who mimsy is but i know that uh sarah styles is playing her so i uh, some of these like more minor characters that I don't know how how many episodes are going to show up in and that's I think what I started to say about Lucifer I don't know how many episodes 
his voice actor is going to be in because I think it was listed as like a featured voice talent credit. So if, if he only shows up for a couple episodes, but still knocks it out of the park with one of the uh, uh, like biggest banger song, like at least that'll fulfill my uh, at least it'll fulfill my bingo card uh, uh, thing. Uh, but yeah, it's like I said, it's not as riotously funny. Like I, I feel like just the way they're written, Hell of a Boss is designed to be a more comedy show, right? Whereas this is seems to be a lot more like running plotline focused because, you know, with Hell of a Boss, you could get, you know, episode... F I'm thinking back to season two, you get episode one of season two, which was like just drama backstory, basically, about some of the main characters. Episode two was a, a silly fun adventure in LA. Episode three was a super somber, but still pretty funny uh mafia story almost as that and then episode four was like torture porn with stolas so it's like you just get like a huge variety of episodes here whereas this is, seems a lot more focused on the running plot itself uh which you know that's a bit of a trade-off right uh i don't need a show to be riotously funny right uh, as long as you know the music's good and i'm interested in where the story is going uh the the extermination being moved up six months is not what i was expecting and is a very interesting wrinkle like i said uh as well as the whole you can kill an angel kind of thing uh we got a little bit of a mystery on our hands with this, and I like that. I appreciate that. Uh, the music was really good. Like I said, it's it's hard to judge. Uh, if we have anything go on with this, we get two songs per episode, just about. Uh, and I just, hey, I just really want to hear everybody sing, right? We got like one and a half songs with Charlie, and then a half of a song with Adam. Uh, even though Adam kind of took over the whole thing, uh, just like one verse in, right? Uh, I, it's hard to it's hard to say which one I liked better. I'd heard I was at least a little more familiar with Happy Day in Hell before, uh, but I think overall I think given the two I think it's just a better song. Plus, like I like Charlie more than Adam. His douchiness kind of really shown through, especially when he's going like yeah guitar solo, fuck yeah, wah wah wah, kind of thing. Uh, it uh you know his personality shown through a little bit too much, and uh, you know like I said not my favorite, uh, but uh. Yeah, good start to the series. I'm very, very excited to see where it goes from here. Uh, this is already a very long recording. I hope I did a good job. So, hey, if, uh, like I said before, leave a comment. Let me know what you thought of this episode. Did this meet your expectations? I know a lot of y'all had been waiting for a very long time for this. Uh, did it meet your expectations? Uh, failure expectations? Uh, I know that the way these are being released a lot of people got access to episodes one and two early and now get access to three and four as well uh so uh you know you can't judge a show based on one episode uh but i'm hoping that with pun fully intended here with the the full kind of uh release episodes in concert with each other that we're gonna get get kind of a bigger picture here and uh you know it's hey like i said it's just really really good to see all these characters the animation looks great uh, like all, just all the stuff with Alistair I love the the sound design still going on the fact that there's always kind of cartoony music playing in the background even if we don't necessarily get the cartoony sound effects as in your face like we did in the pilot they're still there I heard him a couple times when Angel Dust like put his leg up or something when he was talking about himself we heard a, like a I think we heard like a whistle kind of thing and a couple other little cartoony sound effects here and there. So I'm glad they kept some of that in there because that was honestly some of my favorite stuff from the pilot with just how like almost Ed, Ed, Netty the sound design was. So yeah, I'm super, super excited to keep watching. Uh, and I hope you are as well. Like I said, uh, uh, we're going to be going through this. So just, hey, make sure you subscribe to the channel so you see when I put up the next couple ones. As well as I have bought some merch. I bought not a shirt, which I should, uh, but I bought a, a couple packs of the trading cards, so I'm going to be putting up a video sometime hopefully soon. I hope by the time this comes out, I should have it shot already. Uh, so, hey, be on the lookout for a uh, card opening video coming soon as well. My one Pokemon card opening video that I ever made is really going to come in handy for knowing how to film those. Uh, but hey, hey, just like I said, thank you for watching and uh, come back next time as we see uh, what, you know, how this progresses. I'm super, super excited for it. Take it easy, everybody.